But I want to declare to somebody today that there is a disconnection and a connection that the Lord gonna release to you today. The Likonekayamba Sakayan Dereba Saka. There is a disconnection I hear unto somebody. The Kayande Rebose Kayanda Lama Saka. I declare disconnection. When you dream with a snake, I love you and I want to have you. You can't have me. What is the strength of your life? Whom shall you be afraid? When the wicked, yes, even your enemies and your foes come up against you, they shall stumble and fall. God bless you, Mr. Media. Bye, Julius Mwangi. Wow, welcome guys to this uh, YouTube channel, Jurista Media. Subscribe, like, and share. And I'm happy because of today the Lord has given us the grant. He has given us the power to see today. Uh, we know that there are many people that they cannot be able to see today. Others are sick, in sick beds. Others have died. Others are complaining. Others are suffering. But today I'm here to speak a word of hope unto your life. And the Lord is speaking unto me that this there is a uh, we are coming to a need of disconnection to the fake friends. So today I want to tell you and proclaim and prophesy to somebody that the fake friends are gonna disconnect from you from today. There are people that you are connected with them in your life that they are never they will never help you to understand or do anything. There are people you are connected to you in your life that they make you to come down in your job, that they make you to throw down in your ministry ministry, that they make you to throw down in your altar, that they make you to throw down your life and your continuity. Your prosperity is delayed because of the connection that you are connected with them, with those fake friends, with those fake relationships. So today I'm here going to declare unto someone that we declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that all these friends gonna disconnect from today. Even if they are physical friends, they gonna disconnect from today. It might be your family. It might be your friends. But I want to declare to somebody today that there is a disconnection and a connection that the Lord gonna release to you today. The Likonekayamba Sakayan Dereba Saka. There is a disconnection I hear unto somebody. The Kayande Rebose Kayanda Lama Saka. I declare disconnection. I declare disconnection for these fake friends in the mighty name of Jesus. Riva Sakayande Rebose Ka. The power of the Holy Ghost is with us. That all those fake friends, that all those friends that are against your prosperity, they must disconnect from this world today. They must disconnect from your relationship today. They must disconnect from your family today. They must disconnect from your job today in the mighty name of the Lord. I want to tell you that there, you, might be, you might have gone so far. Watu wengine kati yetu tungekua tumefanikiwa kitambo sana. Lakini your faith is uh, delayed. Your prosperity is delayed. Hata miujiza ya wengine iliachiriwa miaka ya kitambo. 
lakini bando imeshikiliwa just because of these fake friends that you are connected with rikadaba shakaya ndarabo seka i declare disconnection i declare disconnection i declare disconnection some of us we were married to some people and this relationship came to an end these people they paralyzed our prosperity they paralyzed our continuity i want to tell you today that even if they say water even if they said water there is something gonna take change today there is a disconnection of this fake friends there is disconnection of this relationship and god is gonna reconnect you with the spirit of friends that are going to bring prosperity that are going to raise your standard in the mighty name of jesus you are lace you are going to be raised to a higher standard you are going to be raised to a higher level you are going to be raised to a higher level because this lord you are serving gonna raise you to a higher altar gonna raise you to a higher prosperity gonna raise you to a higher rekayanda rekanda bo shekayanda reba sakayande rebo seka the lord gonna raise you to a higher standard goloda rekaya rebo seka he gonna raise you to a higher standard in the mighty name of jesus somebody who is believing in me say a big amen hallelujah and today i want to share a word of, uh, of encouragement this is from the book of judges uh, genesis chapter number 4 and from uh, verse number 7 and number 8 let me start from number 1 the bible is telling us from verse number 1 now adam knew if his friend sorry now adam knew if his wife and she conceived and bore Cain and said i have gotten a man from the lord praise the name of the lord adam and eve were, had a relationship and eve was a husband was a wife to adam and it came a time the eve conceived and she bore out that is that is a cain cain being the first fruit of this family the first son of this family so they were so happy that they got this son the family was so joyous in verse 2 abel was born they then she bore again this time is brother abel now abel was a keeper of sheep but cain was a tiller of the ground so abel being the second born of this family he was a keeper of sheep he could go to the wilderness he could go outside from the family to look after the sheep of his father and now cain was a tiller of the land his work was tilling in the land and getting the fruits of the land selling them and eating them and that's where she could get he could get his living from tilling the land it doesn't matter where you are getting your mantle the where you are getting your food where you are getting your finances where you are getting your prosperity but i want to tell you today that where you are getting it gonna grow be laid to a higher standard the lord is gonna release a favor from where you are cultivating the lord may bring a favor to your job in the mighty name of jesus may the lord connect you to the best job that you need may the god connect you to the destiny hope of your life in the mighty name of Jesus the lord is gonna do something unto someone today in the mighty name of the lord raba sakaya ndarabo seka raba sakaya ndarabo seka kain wa tilta of the ground you might be there you are the tilter you are a farmer you have a very big farm you have got reverted uh, uh, anything that it uh, is growing and you are running in your area but i want to tell you why you are cultivating god might send someone and to be raised it from that ground you shall be raised from where you are for your connection with the god is powerful for your connection with the god is a living I want to declare to somebody Rabasha kayanda raboseka that it is your time to be connected with a destiny helper now listen verse 3 and in the process of time it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruits 
of the ground to the law. Even in this time, you know, the people of this nature of today's current church, they don't want to reason about sacrifice. They don't want to reason about offering. And they get an evil mind and evil understanding due to those who are fair as cartels in the, in the name of the prophecy and cartels in the name of the ministry. But I want to tell you, but even Cain and Abel, they knew that they should give an offering. They knew that they should give offering here and there. And in the time of the Lord, this time Cain brought his offering of the ground. He brought the offering to the Lord that he may get, he may get connection and for the hour from the altar and the name of the Lord is working today I want to tell you that Cain brought this mm, offering but he did not have respect before the Lord the offering that you're gonna 